This is another example from projectile motion, and it shows what happens if we consider a cannon set up with an angle of 30 degrees, initial height of 10 meters, and v naught of 15 meters per second. We ask how long until this piano hits the ground. And since we're asking how long, I'm really after the time. I'm going to pick a coordinate system that has an origin down here at the base of the cannon. And if I do that, my y naught is going to be the 10 meters, 10 meters given in the problem. My final y is going to be the 0. Uh, I'm going to have an initial y component of the speed, which is going to be v naught sine theta, and I don't actually care about what my x components are because the time is just set by how long it takes to go up and come back down in the y direction. If I do that, I get a kinematic equation. So that's y is equal to y naught plus v naught sine theta t minus one half g t squared. Now, this is a quadratic formula in t provided this y equals 0. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that was given in the problem, and I can use my regular quadratic formula. If I go ahead and identify this last term here as the c in a quadratic equation, this middle part in front of the t here is going to be a b, and this first part here is going to be the a in the sense of a t squared plus b t plus c equals zero. And once I do that, I get my regular quadratic expression where I can say negative b, well b is this v naught sine theta, so I say that the time is going to be minus v naught sine theta plus or minus square root of v naught squared sine squared theta minus 4ac, so that's minus 4 times a is the minus 1 half g, so include that negative sign, that's important, times c, which is y naught. Put that all over 2a, so that's 2 times minus a half g. Now, you'll notice that we have a negative sign on the top and the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. When I cancel a negative sign out of a plus minus, it doesn't change it. So I can rewrite this as t is equal to v naught sine theta plus or minus square root of v naught squared sine squared theta. Uh, 4 times a half is 2, negative uh, cancel, or negative and negative is a positive, 2g, why not, all over g. A nice, compact, pretty little equation. Now we just go ahead and substitute in some numbers. So we could say that t is equal to v naught, that's 15 meters per second, times sine theta, so that's sine of 30 degrees, plus or minus the square root of 15 meters per second squared, quantity squared, sine squared of 30 degrees, plus 2 times 9.81 meters per second, times the initial height here, which is the 10 meters. Put that all in divide by 9.81 meters per second squared. And if I plug that into my calculator, I get two answers. I get 2.384 seconds, and I also get negative 0.855 seconds. So that is just obviously this positive number. This negative happened before the clock started, so it would correspond to how long it would take if it was rising up from the ground to reach the cannon. Now there is a subtlety here because I could ask what if that angle was 30 degrees, 30 degrees below, below the horizontal. Let's do a little erasing. Horizontal. Spelling is hard. 
So then we then as is drawing straight lines. Then we have the cannon pointed down 30 degrees below the horizontal. This is clearly going to take less time. So if it's 30 degrees, it's going to go shoot it down and go uh, less time. This will still be 10 meters. And if I do that, the big change here is that V0Y goes from being uh, positive 15 meters per second sine 30. This becomes negative 15 meters per second sine 30 degrees. Uh, so it just changes its direction, pointing down. You'll notice that nothing in this problem will change except for this first term. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat my calculation, uh, use this v naught y again, and if I get that, then I get my positive answer is 0 0.855 seconds. And my negative answer is negative 2.384 seconds. So this is how long it would take if it was shot down at the same initial speed. It would only be 0.855 seconds. Thanks for listening.